What's going on, guys? My name is Taradra. Welcome into the Space Plane Hangar and Kerbal Space Program. We are uh, finishing a KSP challenge presented by the developers on Twitter to build Rudolph in the game and launch him into space or have him help Santa or what have you. And what we decided to do was we currently have a career going on in the stock game with DLCs and we made Rudolph in our career. If you notice, he's surrounded by a lot of SRBs. He's a very big towering figure. He doesn't look quite like a deer, but we were limited in our build using base pieces and I didn't want to actually put panels around the entire thing because the part count would have been insane. But I'll give you some quick stats about it. $1.6 million career mode. We're currently at 1,047 parts at 7,749 tons. So it's almost eight, what is it, megatons or gigatons? Either way, it is 42 meters high, 38 meters wide, and almost 52 and a half meters long. It is a very sizable craft. And we're gonna put it into orbit and show off some other cool things that we've done for the festive holiday for this Rudolph build. So without any further ado, let's launch it, shall we? Bad time for you, Yaktova. Have a good night. Yeah, yell nats, 100%. Time for our golden reindeer to be launched into the sky. All hail our fair lady reindeer. Well, now that we've strut the SRBs, we should be fine now. It's a night launch. Looks beautiful. Uh, the rockets are wiggling just a little bit. I'm sure that they'll fix that in post. Um, are we strut? Yeah, these right here aren't struggling. They don't, they don't need to be strut. All right, let's let's launch it anyways. We had it. We had an issue before. Let's see what we can pull off. And let's go. Expect some frame drops, by the way, not on stream, but here because you can see my hand moving and the game runs like crap. What could go wrong? Exactly. 100%. What could go wrong? An anomaly. What's going on? So Spartan, welcome in my friend. Were you going to add the tail fin? No, we're fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. We'll be fine. These SRBs wiggling are a little, they're a little scary, but I think, I think it's okay. Here we are in the epic fight of the century. Reindeer versus Kraken. There's no Kraken tech in here. There is not a single piece of Kraken tech in this entire thing. It's all built kosher and legit. There are some fuel tanks aligned along a skeleton. We do have a skeleton base for the entire build. But no, for the most part, it's pretty legit. There's no cracking drives. There's nothing too crazy and special. Some fuel tanks have been clipped only because we had to make the build look as close to being a reindeer as possible. And for the time being, we're just kind of making everything work. What number did I put the solar panels on? I think I put them on action three. I may have put them on action three. We'll figure out when we get out there. If the solar panels are acting as the reindeer antlers, we have a reindeer face with eyes. We have a red nose that we're going to be lighting up later. It's rockets, very Kerbal like. And we have some other surprises in store too for this. So it should be really neat once we get it up out here and moving around in space. We'll switch over here to maneuver mode. That way you can see our height, our apogee and our perigee. Or in this game, it's the apoapsis and periapsis. And we're burning up. We're going to make it into space, hopefully. I'm pretty confident. We've, we've made it into orbit once already. And then I went on ahead and uh, added some accoutrements to this and shipped it back out again for second round. And during our second round, it blew up. So this is the third round and hopefully we fixed the problem why it blew up the first time. Here's how it looks from the bottom. His feet do have rockets. Reindeer, R Rudolph's rockets are set to go. Third time is the charm. Well, if you count how many times we've actually had this out into space, this is like the 30th time. But yeah, sure, I'm, I'm good with that number. Third time's good with me. Once we break out of this blue here, we're gonna bring the throttle back a little more. I'm trying to use as little liquid fuel as possible, but still keeping the rocket stable. 
because our center of mass is about right here and our SRBs do pretty good about things 30 30 gets us over here I want to get out of the blue first our surface speeds picking up orbital speeds picking up 30 times oh gotcha yeah close enough 330 there's a three in there somewhere 30th times a charm these SRBs are gonna get hot because we're reaching the end of their fuel life which is perfectly fine our apogee is over hundred thousand kilometers so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break these off and we're gonna burn just a little more and then kill the engines and wait for apogee turn ourselves 90 degrees and flatten our orbit out and then everything's great after that so here's the most crucial part is SRB separation no bangs no whammies and oh baby there's one hanging oh there was a little bit of boom there did we lose a wing we lost the wing what else did we lose we lost collided uh to do, do, do fuel booster liquid fuel booster okay i think all we did was lose a wing i think everything else is fine we still have all of our engines there. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. So let's go ahead and get ourselves turned for burning into orbit. Rudolph just broke a nail. Yeah, right. We put those on there because we were spinning while we were launching in the very beginning. So we needed to be able to uh, stop that from happening. All right, so let's go ahead and kill that. We're in orbit, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it point prograde. And we're gonna work on getting this set up for orbit. Rudolph lost a wing, mutant reindeer. Yes, mutant reindeer, 100%. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our solar panels, which I think they're number three. They were number three, beautiful. First try, successful deployment of our solar panels. So now Rudolph has his antlers, which is ideal for being able to recharge his many, many batteries. Cause right now he's got a lot of electrical charge, 52,000 to be exact, in case these don't properly support our endeavor. So we need to spin him around because he needs to be facing the opposite direction. That way, when he performs his future moves, everything looks great. We have four minutes until Apogee. I almost wanted, I, I wanted a perfect launch, but we're missing, we're missing a fin right there on the foot. That's fine though. He just needs to go back to Hot Topic and buy another one or Spencer Gifts. Wherever he happened to grab his little, his little hoof claw. All right, so let's go over some of the features of Rudolph now that we are in space and we're heading towards Apogee. We have a few minutes so I can discuss with you some of the features that we have on here. So Rudolph has an articulating mouth. There is a hinge here that allows the mouth to articulate. He has an articulating neck, uh, which last time we used it, it broke and it wouldn't lock back up. And he has completely movable articulating legs that will motion him as if he's flying through space. So that's currently what we have set up for Rudolph in the grand scheme of things. His tail also moves. His tail is also articulating, uh, which I can't find the hinge for that, but we didn't have enough time to actually set that up to a thing, but we can grab it and move the tail just for shiggles. And then you notice all these lights. All these lights are actually Christmas themed and colored. We've got a little mixture of red, a little mixture of green, a little mixture of blue, and a little mixture of white. And we're gonna wait until we get full sun to show that off. That way we can charge ourselves back up as we need to. But we kind of went a little liberal with the fuel tanks around his joints. Make sure we kind of fleshed out the thigh of the deer. Cause if you draw this as a circle, it looks like a thigh. And then it comes down to the knee joint. Then it has the forearm. And then you usually have hooves and we put the rockets on the bottom of the hooves. They're clipping a little bit, but it is what it is. 
His body's made out of panels, and inside his body are the fuel tanks that are being used to run this entire operation. We built an exoskeleton first, and we made sure to connect all the pieces together. That way we had a basis of design for how big we wanted Rudolph to be originally. And it all seemed to have worked out in the end. So now that we're getting closer to Apogee, we're gonna go on ahead and turn him more towards the horizon. That way we can start our burn. We're about two minutes away, but I can go ahead and get him over here at the horizon. We can probably start burning it now. We've got plenty of Delta V. We're out here in space, we're hanging out. All we got to do is get horizontal. So we're going to put him up like this. And we're going to hit it. And we're going to get him horizontal before the sun. Or at least try. Too far. Come back a little bit. Come back. Right there. What's our TWR right now? Our TWR in space is almost three. So we're moving with a quickness. Burning through that fuel ultra fast, pushing ourselves as hard as possible at about three G's. Rudolph's moving at three G's. He's trying to hurry up and get to Santa as fast as possible. Cause Santa's like, Rudolph, we need you right here, right now, boy. He's like, all right, dude, I got you. Back up off of me. I'm a reindeer. I got stuff I got to do, okay? The wife Rudolph isn't too happy about me running all these errands for you all the time. He doesn't look too happy about it either. Check him out. And then once we get in the sun, we'll hit the lights. That way you guys can see all the festive colors I've set up for Rudolph. I haven't even turned them on myself yet. So we're going to see how they came out. This is going to be the light debut as well. <clears throat> so the magic number for orbit around Kerbin, if you don't know already, is about 2200. So right now we are getting there. We are around space. We've actually got there a little early. 410, 100. Perfect. What's our energy like? 51,000? All right, we're, we're going to point this out, radial out. That way he stands up correctly. Um, he's also turning, which I don't like. Someone in chat said they wanted him to run, sh to walk straight across in the direction that he's moving. So we need to fix that. I guess that's close enough. Well, close enough doesn't count, right? He needs to be straight. Like that. All right, so here's the other features that we have. The other features include lights, which if we hit them, you can see they're very festive around his neck, around his feet, around his ankles, and around his body. So he's very Christmassy. All the Christmas lights seem to have worked out pretty well. You get the blue and the white and the green and the red. Rudolph is lit, indeed. And we can show off some of the articulating parts. So we'll click this. We will unlock. Oh, it hasn't been locked at all. Okay. So we'll unlock the jaw. We'll aim the camera over there. And we'll show off the articulating mouth of Rudolph. So there's his mouth right there. So now he can talk. So there's, there's a little bit of that that we have featured. Um, let's aim the camera over here. We'll show off the tail. The tail has uh, right here. We can move the tail around. Oops, this is traversing a little heavy. So we can move the tail around and the tail wags just like any other deer tail would wag. Let's see if we can get this to lock back up. Did you lock? There we go. Okay, there's the tail. The head also moves, but the neck will break as soon as we try to move it. And then, and then last but not least, the most important part is that Rudolph can actually run through space. So we're gonna aim the camera right here in the middle part and we're gonna unlock his legs and turn them on. And here he goes. Rudolph has joints. And his legs move. This one over here is not moving for some reason. Why aren't you moving, leg? Oh, man, the robotics are so wonky sometimes. 
Well, you can use your imagination. He's moving. Is this thing locked? Nope. Huh. Either way, that's how he moves. He's supposed to gallop, but we haven't really gotten that motion 100% down yet. But you know what? I think this is close enough for our demonstration. We're not playing clop. We're trying to. You know what? He's trying his hardest. He has to. He's traveling at 1,900 meters a second. He has to get to Santa, and sometimes his legs just won't cooperate with him. Okay. Either way, we can turn those off now and let them hang. That gives you an idea of all the detail and all of the movement we put into the build. You can't type tonight. No worries. And that is how we got this to work. Arms and legs everywhere. I can't. I can't help it. So if I run this on the surface, it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's like a little wagon wheel motion. Nothing really else to come out from it. But out here, it just goes like this. Ah, wacky, waving, inflatable arm man. But you know, I, I can't. I can't knock it. He's trying his best. But wait, we wait for this thing to come to a rest because everything's turned off, or at least it should be. I think I turned them off. Yeah, they're paused. Let's return them back to their original play position. That way there's no like hoopla or problems or anything. They have their own cow controllers. And then through all the twisted metal and steel and, and all the twisted crap and that is not supposed to bend that way. Rudolph, you're not supposed to bend that way, said Santa. But either way, there he is in all of his glory. So we'll get him into the sun. That way you guys can see him in all of his reflective glory. And I think this thing has broken off. Has this thing broke? Nope, it's just kind of pivoting around. Interesting. So Shut up and take my money. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. There's the sun. Let's get Rudolph into the sun, guys. He needs to he needs to recharge his batteries. But there's how you get a 7,500 ton reindeer into space. <clears throat> Have him feature with Christmas lights and move all of his legs. And hopefully reach a point to where this thing right here will stop moving. Hold on. Let me aim the camera here and let's see if I can't fix this. What's going on here? We need you to fix yourself. You angle go to zero and stop. This thing's unlocked. Try to get back to zero as fast as possible. Turn the torque down. Nope, come back. Yeah, it's lost. It's just doing its thing. It'll figure itself out one day. He spun himself around in circles. He was supposed to be facing towards the sun. Now he's not. How are you supposed to charge this way? I mean, you actually are charging. But there he is, guys. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot. We got to get his nose to shine. We got to get his nose to shine. I know. Pickle, 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 pickle. Is that too many pickles? It's way too many pickles. How dare you? Well, I don't care. Right, well, obviously you don't care. Yell ass, thank you for the 500 bits. I appreciate it. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta give him his red nose. Hold on, he's gotta have his red nose. It's gotta fit the music. It's gotta fit everything. I know I forgot to set these on a control group. You guys can yell at me later. However you want to in chat, etc. In comments, you can email me, DM me on Discord, and say, "Hey man, can't believe you didn't stage that or." Put a control group. Oh my God, right click on the engines. But there is there is one coup de grace that we have to do. It is it is the, the infamous red nose of Rudolph. And we have done it in one of the most Kerbal ways possible with an engine. So let's get out here. 
and let's get him his red nose shall we all right you stage right there go rudolph the red nose reindeer he had a very shiny nose and i can't sing i know i know but give me a minute give me a minute to get his nose nice and red might take another 10 seconds or so you can see it starting to glow and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows and there's his nose you guys there's his red nose in all of his glory it's rudolph you guys bam awesome that's cool and that's how we do it i gotta take a screen cap of this because i don't think we're ever gonna launch this again Thank you, Yelnats. I appreciate it. Let me do this. And let's get Rudolph into space. Let's see. I want his red nose again. Let me see. I'll fire up his nose. Thank you, Steamfish. I appreciate it. In fact, do we have SAS turned on? We don't. Let's go back radial out. Now that our legs are all straightened up, let's see if we can't turn this around. By the way, the rocket's not helping at all in our movements. It's a very weak rocket. <laughs> this thing weighs so much that it's not even affecting anything. <clears throat> right there. Sweet. Nope, go back. Oh, man. It's still being lost in the tizzy. Okay. Either way. F2. There's the sun behind him. That's actually a pretty good shot of him right there. He's dancing, he's waiting for Santa, and he's doing his groove thing. 16 times the weight of the ISS. This was 7,500 tons, so Spartan. 7,500 tons. But there you go, guys. Thank you for watching on YouTube. I appreciate it. If you guys like what you see, come by the Twitch channel. We're here all the time. Love to have you guys a part of it. Once again, my name is Taradra, and this was our KSP challenge for Christmas. Thank you for watching.